Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here to do a Virgo season reading. This is for Virgos, for Libras, and really for anyone who connects to this message. If you found this message, it might be yours. Uh, my intention before this reading is that whoever needs this message finds it, and if you connect with it, wonderful. These are general, not personal though. Let's see what we have. We have throne, authority. So Virgo season starting on August 22nd, and it runs through September 21st. Um, and this is about, you know, a time, a time when um, we want to be a little more reflective, possibly a time when we want to be, um, you know, maybe finishing up some projects or planning. Um, these are things connected to Virgo season. It does rule uh, the sixth house of daily routines, health and hard work. So that can also be something to do with um, uh, finances that you're focusing on. It can also have to do with health conscious efforts. So think about the pentacles. That's the suit that would be connected to, to Virgo. The hermit card would be the major arcana. So focusing on, you know, sort of uh, that self-reliance, that self-sufficiency. I just saw one, one, one manifestation. So you making things happen in your life, whether you're a Virgo, a Libra, or any sign, right? Um, and we're more than our sun signs. So all right, so this is about you finding some sort of success in something you're doing here with this authority throne, okay? You're also, you know, during this time, I feel it's really important to stay grounded, everyone, and to really uh, connect with what makes you feel aligned. Uh, and, and really, uh, it, I'm just getting this overall feeling, especially as we approach the end of this 2024 year together. I feel like there's just a lot going on and I know I'm not alone with this it's you know all over the place too that that there seems to be just a lot of uh chaos you know chaos around maybe or plans you know not like plans kind of getting delayed or thrown out the window completely or it's very it can it feels sort of turbulent um and so whatever you can do to sort of keep yourself grounded and keep yourself in touch with your principles and your beliefs. Um, that is that is um, something to really, really pay attention to. We want to avoid things like getting into arguments or you know, um, you know, conflict of any kind. You know, it's like make sure we're thinking of not just the little details, which Virgos are great focusing on the details traditionally, uh, but also looking at the big picture. Which you know, Virgo, I always have felt like they have a, a big plan, and then they have the steps along the way. I've had so many Virgos in my life, and very close and uh, absent Virgo in my chart as well. So, and, you know, and being a Libra and having that be our, our neighboring sign, I feel though a lot of us Libras um, can, can resonate with Virgo energy pretty well. Um, and I know I have a lot of viewers on that Virgo Libra cusp. So I do want to wish Virgos though a very happy birthday season. And, um, you know, when we're tuning into Virgo season, some things we could be doing is to-do lists, diaries, filling out receipts, um, making sure you're, you're tidying things up, cleaning your space, decluttering, putting in the work, you know, um, and, and not settling. You know, Virgo's season is about not being picky or not being, um, allowing other people to really scrutinize you, but making sure you're attending to your own um, details because Virgos do have been kind of accused of being, you know, overly critical, overly picky, but I feel that that can be turned into um, a strength actually, because we need Virgos to, to um, keep things in check, you know, or that type of energy. Anyway, we need the Virgo season sort of energy. This is about, you know, when you think that Virgos are in the major arcana, they're the hermit and the hermit is about that solitude and being comfortable with that. Um, and this is also about, it's the number nine, which can sometimes symbolize you're near the, the completion of something. I feel as though a lot of us are finishing a cycle now um and we'll be starting a new one perhaps during virgo season september comes up uh, as far as um starting something new i'm also getting uh the date of september 10th for some reason so that may or may not resonate but this is about um yeah being discerning getting yourself organized maybe coming up with some some ways that you can sort of cleanse and protect your uh your energy field and be your own authority remember we have that authority card the throne here so um it's about your own sovereignty and this is about um you know you having these these it's it's like it's virgos what i love about virgo season and virgos that i've known anyway um 
it's a very like can do attitude. It's like, you know, if you give a Virgo a project, you know, it's going to get done. They're going to come up with a plan. A lot of the times this is about working in, sol in solitude, just like that hermit and knowing that you have the resources within and to fulfill your dream. The, the, the hermit is said to carry the star and his lantern. So his or her lantern. So this is, this is about realizing you have that own inner authority and staying connected that no matter how turbulent things could get coming up in the next few months, particularly in the U S with the election and all that, which I don't want to, I don't want to do any predictions about that, but I can say that I do feel that we're already in this energy collectively of, of, um, almost expecting something like the rug to be pulled out or expecting something to fall down or, you know what I mean? Or expecting, um, you know, uh, new developments that are kind of like earth shattering or not, not, I don't want to say earth shattering, but, but actually, in fact, there are a lot of, uh, you know, natural disasters coming in again. And I feel like we may be seeing a lot more of that, unfortunately, earthquakes and things. Um, and it's not me wanting that it's, it's that I just, I can, I feel it. I know that, you know, astrologers out there are also sort of predicting that there's going to be a lot of sort of chaos. There could be complete upheaval, but I wanted you to have a place where you could feel um, sort of uh, connected and maybe get some advice on this, on this time uh, that's coming up for all of us and the, the time that we're actually living in. So having a routine could help you a lot. Writing things down can help you a lot as well. Pentacles in the major or in the minor arcana represent our earth signs. And that is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And that is all about, you know, um, or resources, time, even love is a resource. It's energy, right? Um, money, uh, you know, um, nature, nature as a natural resources are, are, are part of that as well. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's really um, anything in the natural world and the physical world, that's pentacles. So it really affects a lot, right? From our daily routine to, you know, uh, the climate, to, um, you know, things that are going on at work, to our health, of course. So really, it's, it's, it's a big time. It's a big time of the year. And I feel like that Aquarius moon energy with super moon, blue moon, <laughs> uh, we're still feeling that. And, you know, Aquarius moon, that's very humanitarian kind of moon. And it is sort of that, it ties in nicely with Virgo season approaching because it's that be the change you wish to see in the world. You know, that's the energy that comes along with it. So let's get into some more cards. All right. I know I've kind of said a lot about this. <laughs> so here we are. So we have authority being your own authority here. Thinking about that hermit energy. Mm -hmm. All righty. So I'm getting, I am getting sort of a feeling of prosperity. So if you're unfamiliar with me, I am an intuitive reader. I get a lot of uh, downloads, if you want to call it that, a lot of messages. Um, from my higher self, my guides, you know, during this reading. And so um, that's, that's how this works. So there is a lot of talking. If that's not your thing and you just want to see someone flip cards and maybe talk just about that, then this might not be your channel. But I do hope you choose to stick around. I use a lot of cool decks too. So we have bridge here, transition. You know, this is a life-changing life event or person maybe entering or, or, you know, entering your life or you're ending a cycle and beginning another one. As I said, Virgo being nine and the hermit there, that, that is, again, that's that nearing um, a cycle, nearing the completion of a cycle. We'll get a couple of Oracle cards more, and then we're going to go into the Light Seer's Tarot. The decks I use are usually listed in the description box. If not, I will say them on the channel. So if it's not listed, I have said it during the reading. And okay, you have old woman wisdom. Now, I just saw 909 on my timer here. So look at the video time. It's just past 909. Uh, the birth date 99 or the date 910 even could be could mean something. But this is about you seeking your inner voice, that hermit. This is a female version of the hermit with old woman. Okay, so this is paying more attention to your feelings, to your emotions, and tuning in so that you can regulate them. If we're unaware, we're often dysregulated, right? So we want to stay in tune with what's going on uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, and in what's going on in the world around us. So again, um, oh, this is unbelievable that we just got the, the old woman right at 909, you know, and it's just, again, tying right into that hermit energy. Let's see here. You could find, you know, 
and I'll deliver what I see, fear, feel here. Okay, so I don't, I'm not trying to instill fear or anything like that, but you could find there's a little bit of a tricky energy having to navigate uh, coming up, and that's one reason. That's one thing that I am foreseeing. I am seeing that um, we do have a lot of. Um, the only way I can describe it, and I have in previous readings recently for Libras, is it's a turbulent energy. It's like, yes, there's going to be sunshine in the end and rewards. You just may not be able to see it yet. And you may have a hard time making sense of it as we are as a collective. So it, it could just, it, you know, that's why I say lean into structures you trust, routines, relationships you trust. Lean into your resources to keep you grounded and your vibration high. It's very important. Some of us are not ready to end a cycle or completion as, as uh, spiritual beings, okay? Some of us are not going to, you know, ascend as much as others during this uh, incredible time that's that we're in right now astrologically we have night owl there are lessons being offered to you so you can you know join in or you can stay behind is sort of the energy as far as um you know you know some people wanting to move forward and others people resisting change so there's an element of that, but you have this wisdom, okay? You have this intelligence. You, you yourself have learned and are ascending and, or, or have ascended and or it's coming very close. There's this opportunity for growth, really, really growth, and for even some of your psychic abilities to really take off. Um, so if you've come to this reading, then this meaning, reading was probably meant to find you. And, and this is one reason why, to encourage you so that you realize that um, you, you're go you, you do have the... Um, the perception, you're, you can trust your perceptions, you can trust your instinct, you can trust your heart, okay? Um, but we've got to stay grounded. We need to make, make sure we're staying grounded, okay? On the bottom of the deck, you have cold moon. This is about maybe feeling trapped, some sort of stagnation. You may have felt this. You may have a little bit more of this coming up, you know, more tower moments globally and individually. That's certainly coming in. But this is about harder times leading to greater wisdom. And I don't remember the quote, but it's been coming up a lot to me lately. And that is, good timber does not grow with ease. The stronger the wind, the stronger the trees. So again, tapping into your, your own inner strength and um, your roots, you know, your ancestors and stuff. Okay. Let's see what else we have. And these are general, not personal readings. Only take what resonates. Remember, you have free will final say. Your intuition knows best. All right, let's see what else. And if you enjoy this kind of more collective reading, let me know. Maybe I could do one at the start of every uh, season, you know, new astrological season or zodiac season. Someone is flying by right now on a lawnmower. I, I feel like um, there's something here, you know, because nothing's in it by chance in these readings. I'm watching and I'm watching it happen and I'm almost holding my breath like, they're not going to get the end result they're hoping for. So, you know, there could be something where we're being encouraged right now, I feel like, to pay attention to details and not overlook and not try to skip steps. It's really important we, we just we stay on track here. If you, if you have a plan you want to implement, stick to those steps, okay? Um, and, and maybe write it out. Writing it out is another way to help you connect. And say it out loud, too. Maybe as a Libra, that's why I say say it out loud. But <laughs> All right, waxing crescent. So the current energies are on your side. It is about motivation. It is about building. There are some serendipity events coming in, some synchronicities. And this is, this is good. This is a very good thing. Um, this is what we need during this, during, this, um, during this very powerful time. One more card slipped out. Um, I, it was, you couldn't see it, but it's, it did. It slipped right out. So I'm going to take that. Black moon. So you could feel, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, some of you felt as though you lost an opportunity. But this is a return. This is a reset button. You're getting another chance. All right. You are getting another chance here with that. Some of you connect with that crescent moon very much. Um, yeah. Okay. So things are, you'll notice with this, uh, it's, a, it's a waxing crescent moon. So it is building. Um, I know I already said that, but I wanted to point that out. There is something about that. It's that something could be at the earliest phases at earliest stages, you know, make sure you have a plan for that. I know a lot of you are entrepreneurs. Um, let's get into some tarot now. Okay. We're going to use the light seers tarot for now, at least. And what do we have for the collective? Let's see. What do we have for the collective? You know, I used to do weekly, um, tarot scopes. 
for every sign. Um, they didn't really do that well. We just had some cards drop. And on the top there, we have what I call the John Legend card. <laughs> the Emperor. Excellent. So we have the Emperor. There were many cards that fell out, but I'm taking the top one. This is great. This is a, you know, Aries energy, but this, this energy is actually about stability and vision. And, um, you know, again, I said, some of you are entrepreneurs, this certainly ties into that, that, that vision and being able to see the whole project and the details and being able to tie it, tie it in, delegate when you can. This is about circumstances in your world having to do with, uh, you know, building confidence, having strategy. You'll see the chess piece in his hand. Okay, you see a, a ram here, Aries ram in the background, the wall, and that has to do with that stick to itiveness. So some of you are doing that. I'm also getting something here about getting a good bargain. Some of you may be getting a good bargain coming in, or you're looking for a good bargain. But this this energy is the divine masculine. So you have a divine feminine here with the old woman, and you have, um, you know, this person on their throne with authority, and then you have the emperor, which is also on their throne. So this is a you know a powerful natural leader. This is about uh, analytical thinking, taking action and promotion. This certainly is what's coming in in this Virgo season. And that's, that's great because that is what Virgo season's all about, the emperor. So if you're wondering, you know, one card, two cards, I'd say the hermit card, the emperor, and um, let's see, oh, for now, we'll leave it at that. But also, you know, anything in the pentacle region there, um, or um, region, a <laughs> sweet suit, I should say. All right. Just making sure though, um, that we're not being rigid because there is always, you know, a, a shadow side to these cards, you know, um, and it could be like a, you know, dealing with someone who's highly manipulative, controlling, um, being stubborn, but we want to make sure that this is, this is that we stay in the upright of this, which is, which is making the world a better place, uh, making something better one brick at a time, so to speak. This is using your mind and your heart because you have the passion of the emperor here, but the stability of also being an emperor, okay? Because you have that Aries energy with the emperor energy in general, which is one of foundations, okay? This is finding opportunities where you can be of service to others, where you can build your empire even, all right? And this is about, you know, the world being yours. As I said early, earlier, be the change you wish to see in the world, right? I can't remember who said it initially, but it's a very well-known saying. Um, it's been, you know, tweaked and reset in a lot of different ways. So this is about, um, you know, really your power is what's going to lead to this change and like-minded, your soul tribe or like-minded, like-hearted, like-minded individuals, um, coming together for a greater cause. That's what's happening here too. I have heard many astrologers say too, that, you know, we're going to enter a time where we just don't need as much or want as much materially, you know. So maybe you are, in fact, like, um, and as far as things, you may be taking more of like a minimalist sort of perspective. We may be sharing the wealth a little more or something or um, tapping into community resources and working as a group, I should say. So sort of, you know, working as a group and um, putting our skills and talents together. And I think that would be great. That would be wonderful as a collective if we could be doing that. So here's the emperor. All right, let's see. I did hear, I hear a couple of, um, I'm getting Norman. I'm hearing something about a parakeet, a bird. Maybe I'm also seeing that sort of green parakeet. I don't know if some of you had a bird. I often will get animals that crossed over coming to me. And um, so language too, folks, okay? Even though it's Virgo season and, you know, that they're not an air sign, it doesn't matter. We all have elements of, you know, of the signs in our charts. So um crow coming in that's a protective you know be you know know that you are protective you do have a little bit of magic on your side here and you are um in, in language be very careful in what you say and how you say it and again avoiding situations that could possibly lead to conflict i'm not saying don't stand up for yourself that is actually the opposite of what i'm saying i'm saying make sure that whatever you're doing it's coming from a very grounded place and then funny enough i reach for this black tourmaline all right so don't settle for somebody. This is a very protective stone. You want to make sure that you um, that you cleanse it often. You can do that in a variety of different ways, which you can find online. But um, this is a you know it's a very good uh, um, root chakra stone. So protective, grounding um, can sort of uh, transmute uh, negative energies, if we want to call them that, into a, you know into something neutral, neutralizes things. Um, but this is, you know, maybe a good one to carry with you to keep you grounded. Maybe you want to have something like hematite or uh, black obsidian, or I, I personally really like a black tourmaline, particularly if you're, um, 
an air sign, you may connect, but, um, my personal experience, you may connect with like black kyanite better, black tourmaline. Um, if you're a water sign or have a lot of water in your chart, maybe it's black obsidian for you. If it's, if you're hematite, maybe you have more like fire, whoops, fire in your chart and, and being, um, you know, the earth sign really, I do feel like, um, you could pretty much Virgos, uh, and Taurus and Capricorn, you could, you could probably connect with any of these stones just fine. All of us really can, but I feel like, uh, just from personal experience, what I've seen people sort of lean towards in their own life. Also, Shungite is coming to mind, so you may want to check that out too. All right, so any of the blacks, uh, dark metallic, that sort of thing could be helpful. And, and of course, reds and browns, also very earthy. Some say gold, even gold and brown, but that can also be uh, your, your um, solar plexus, which is important as well. So when you're you know becoming your own emperor, um, this could also mean addressing long-standing issues, you know, especially if you uh, say you came in, you, you, uh, you came into someone else's, um, you're now the boss after someone else left. You know, it's like having to sort of, you're in a, this is just a metaphor, but in a general sense, we're having to kind of uh, assess what's going on, think about what's going to be best for everyone, you know, at the, say, so to speak, like company, if that's what you're, in, you know, coming into or just again, as a metaphor, and what would be, what's great, what's best for everyone, and yourself included, especially as the leader, where do you want to see things headed, what's going to benefit the greatest good, what's going to benefit your greatest, highest good, and then finding, um, you know, and collaborating, coming from it as a collaborative energy, rather than, up. Oh, we're going to do things my way now, and that's that, that's not an energy that's going to attract you what you want what you probably want is um fellow individuals in your life who who want to work together who who also value time and resources who who want the same similar things that you do and in order to do that we have to put it out there so because i guess i always say in my readings what we think about we bring about what you put out you're going to get back right so um that's cause and effect some call it karma but just making sure that we're holding ourselves in high regard and we're sticking to our values and not letting anything knock us off our throne or out of our own authority here. Remember, we have these cards, okay? So a lot of number synchronicities are coming in, too. Um, let's get some tarot, more tarot. And we'll get numbers at the end, animal cards, um, etc. Let's see what else. Oh, I heard Shannon just now, Shannon. So when names come up, you know, or specifics that come up, it can just be, you know, confirmation for you that, you know, this, there, this message may be for you, or it could be someone simply passing through and saying hello, uh, who's in spirit. Um, so that's why some people are, are drawn to the readings, you know, they're like, well, I've never watched this channel before. And then they come on and then there's a, you know, a, a message from their uncle whose birthday it is or something, you know, so there's, there's stuff that you know i say it's randomly specific but it's actually all very um pointed it's very um it's for someone out there who's watching as you can see by the comments let's see what we have the king of wands more fiery leadership energy again and there's the lion in the background so you keep we keep getting aries here on aries energy um and leo energy and um well so far we've had aries and leo so, uh, you know, the wands, it can, it can be any, any air, any uh, fire sign, so Sag too, but, but mostly uh, it's so far what you're tuning into is, or what we are is Leo and Aries. Leo and Aries. So, um, you know, another sort of, uh, look at the look on, this per on his eyes. Look at that. Look at the look in his eyes. He's so determined. And this one too, but they're determined in different ways. Okay, it seems it's like they have different strategies. And so not everyone's going to have the same strategy, but all of you are able to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish, especially if you have a plan and you and your intentions that you know your own intentions. All right, it's important that we examine our own intentions, why we want something the way it is. Write it down, you know. Say it out loud, give it more power by saying it out loud, attaching that vibration to it for yourselves strong leader visionary uh persistence oh yeah um nine of cups king of pentacles and there you are this king of pentacles here and there's something here you know this card always makes me think of the moon card 
So if there's something you're not quite seeing yet, um, I feel as though um, you're not you're not letting it um, scare you, okay? And that can also be the advice here. So in order to get those nine of cups and have that wish fulfillment, we've got to go outside our comfort zone. But also, um, we have to be willing to face our own anxiety and fear and things that are illusions. We have to be willing to uh, not accept just things as they are, you know, but to question, question values, really give it some think, some good thought. Again, be mindful of your own intentions. You want to make sure they're very clear, particularly as you're manifesting, be very specific in your manifestations. All right. That's how we're getting this nine of cups. And this person's doing it their way. You'll notice the blue hair. They have their own wisdom. Okay. And again, this is tapping into the heart and the mind. Um, and, and this look at even the, even the, um, I mean, the wolf here is focused. So while you may, while you may uh, have fun, you're encouraged, yes, definitely make sure you're tapping into to things that make you happy and people that you want to be around who, who lift you, uplift you, make you joyful, help you uh, experience joy. But you want to make sure that, um, you know, yes, you can focus on joy. You can be happy and you can be very focused at the same time. Focus doesn't mean serious and boring and, you know, it doesn't have to be. You know, that's an old stereotype of, you know, the, the old businessman and he has to be so tough and gruff and he doesn't say much except give orders. That's baloney. No way. And personally, I don't like baloney. Maybe you do. Great. Awesome. You know, we, we don't have to like baloney to, to realize um, or dislike it to realize that I have a good point here, don't I? <laughs> no, that anybody is, is a leader nowadays, right? We have, anyone can be a leader and anyone is a leader and we're, we're our, our own authority. So rock your crown, your crown, as I always say, rock your crown, rock your throne. That's why I said crone, <laughs> not crone. All right. Let's see what else we have coming in here. Hmm. Leah, I'm getting Leah. You know, and I seem to get this a lot. I don't know why. First, I'm getting Nichols or Nicholas. And I'm also getting um, another one I get a lot is Donovan. So Donovan is coming in. So hello, Donovan, if you're out there. Sometimes when I call out a name, it's your name I'm calling out. That could be, right? Mm -hmm. Morgan. Morgan's been coming in too. What else also? Oh, you know what? This is really weird. I saw someone um, give a middle finger. Like I just, it was one of my clairvoyant um, images that I saw and it was someone giving something a middle finger. So you could find that again, it's sort of this like, you know, attempt, you're tempted by, by um, either you're tempted to, you know, tell someone to, you know, what off or, or you're getting that from something or someone. But remember, if you had that in the past, you do have a, a second opportunity at something, but you would decide you're the ultimate decider just because something or something coming back in doesn't mean you have to accept that offer right um there can also be um you know this this bit of like resistance this resistant energy or something um don't accept that right not set we're not settling here no knight of cups right wearing your heart on your sleeve what is important to you um getting in touch with what it is and realize look at the, ho the horse in the background yeah it's a slower moving horse but it's, it's one that is full of, um, uh, what is it? Like spirit, okay? Don't let anything break your spirit, all right? Have that pride. You have a reason. You're, you're where you are for a reason, all right? And you've had to learn some hard lessons. And, and you know, and some of you maybe are learning to allow your heart to, to come in a little bit more after it's been closed or if you want to say that chakra's been blocked, you know, for a while. And you're encouraged to do that. You know, again, it's it's about merging all of our all of the elements, you know, air, fire, earth, um, water. And, you know, so that is, you know, the body, the mind, the spirit, the soul, um, the heart. Let's see what else we have. Night of, you have a lot of people here. So there could be just a lot of uh, there could be a lot of uh, well, it's a lot of masculine energy, too. Actually, we do have this older woman, though, kind of overseeing it and this other woman on a throne here. But um, let's see. So you need to, oh, you need to, buying something new. I'm getting buying something new. Or there's a bargaining unit. Some of you may be teachers or have a, um, 
there may be a, a union or something. There's that could be going on strike or something like that. I'm picking up on that. So, oh, unfortunately, I mean, well, sometimes strikes are good, but you may um, you may notice or hear about now there's a strike going on with uh, you know the nurses or the teachers or the uh, the workers, so, somebody, you know. Unfortunately, um, it's it, but sometimes it's it is fortunate because you know we do need to make sure that we're paying people properly and giving them benefits and and that sort of thing but then on the other hand it's like then we're you know out of that service for a while but you know what comes first the service or the person providing it sometimes you know there's like we we take turns i think and so it's important that people get what what they're worth and so you knowing your value is really important and again not skipping steps and also not backing down when you know something's right or wrong really sticking to your own morals all right you have this moral compass that you follow and that is actually really really good that's something that um, we don't want overshadowed look at that and there's the star so we talked about at the very beginning how first of all i get the star in almost every reading hey nancy shout out to nancy <laughs> um so this is um really pulling in your star qualities but also because you do that it leads to the star so um, you're reaching for the star and the star is like shining on you and it shines within you just like that hermit card that we talked about early on okay now this is after a tower right it, it follows the tower there's that star okay so aligning yourself to what it is that you want and you have such a such a um a good chance of of this, of, you know, getting what you want with this nine of cups and this star, but to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, right? And again, we're being encouraged right now to get out of an energy about just us. And how does, how does what we want um, connect to the greater good? Okay. How, how does it connect to the greater good? All right. So let me see here, actually. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The, the, the Libra, I said, the world. Okay, so there's, there's the world. And like I said, we're completing a cycle here. How the next cycle starts, where, what direction you go, you are going to decide this. Okay, I really do hope this message found the right people, the people that are meant to hear it and that will connect and resonate with it. I ask that if it does resonate with you, you please consider liking, subscribing, becoming a member. Uh, like, comment, subscribe are all free. Um, and as I said, I do have memberships now, but and I'll thank my members in a moment, actually. But um, this is really like, yes, you can have it all. You can have it all. Look at this. Emperor, you have the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Look at this wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. But it's not just magical thinking. It's not just magic. Yes, there's a little bit of magic here. We had Crow come in, of course. I'm going to acknowledge the magic, right? And sometimes we need a little bit of magic, right? And, and yes, we have um, this star card. And that, that makes me think of, you know, just... Uh, tuning into that uh, oh the cosmic energies that be and and um that that uh the mystery of it all you know and, and working with our guides and our higher selves and everything and it is so that we can um close up what we need to right now in order to have that wish fulfillment and the 21 the world card that's that's um the very last card in the major arcana for those of you who are who aren't familiar um Hope, not just hope though, with a star card. It's, I wanna just talk a little more about, about these major arcana cards because I do feel they're a big deal. So the first is like, I think we should really be expecting some miracles. Even though things are gonna be really like chaotic at times and crazy for lack of a better word, right? Um, this is about letting go of, of things like almost like accepting the tower so that things can get better accept the tower so we can step into the star right this is about uh, wishes granted opportunities it could be again healing after that tower that trauma whatever it is for you um, and just knowing you're on the right path this is renewed hope this is expecting miracles and making miracles happen don't just have a great day make it a great day right we all have that power to do that to make it our reality, what we want it to be really, right? Um, and just allowing, you know, allowing your own uh, magic to your, 
star to shine. You know, you are the star. I always say that you are indeed the blessing. You are the star. You are the gift. Okay, so this is about um, if there's any sort of um, darkness or ash that remains after the tower or smoke that needs to be cleared. Keep the faith here. Keep the hope. Your, keep your wishes and dreams alive. If you just let them go, they will not come true. But if you keep them alive and you stay focused on them, you're that much closer to making them, you know, to fulfilling them. So uncover any limiting beliefs or self-doubt, okay? Because what comes after the star is the moon and then the sun, all right? And then judgment, day of reckoning, maybe, you know, that sort of thing, and then the world. So, you know, think about the cards that come between the star and the world. That's the journey. That's the journey of the fool here. We go through the whole major arcana, and this star looks great, right? But as we're seeing in real life, there's smoke in the sky still from wildfires, from other natural disasters and things. Um, there's a there's still ash settling from volcanoes, and there's still uh, aftershocks from the earthquakes. And you're going to get all of that post tower. So I'm speaking, you know, metaphorically and literally in what's going on in our world right now, it's going to be tempting to slip into a lower vibrational energy. And I urge you, don't just stay with us, stay in line with your values, with your purpose, keep with your intention and do not give up. Keep at it. Keep at it. Because again, be that change you wish to see. You can make it happen in miracles. You're going to be like a magnet for miracles. If you're staying in line and, and true to yourself and, and even, you know, thinking of others and um, giving gratitude for what you do have, how do you stay high vibration? One easy way, go out into nature. Another easy way, be, write down what you're grateful for and or say it out loud. Another easy way, give back. Give when you feel you don't have anything. Try to give what you can still right? We all have something that we could probably donate to charity right now that we're not using anymore, right? And again, what goes around comes around, you know, then maybe you'll need something and it'll be there for you. It'll appear. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you're, you came to this reading wanting to be inspired because I do try to do that during the readings. And some people want to come in and have the readings be, you know, not so happy or whatever. And that's just not my style. So, <laughs> That's just I'm going to I'm going to put an optimistic spin on it. Why? Because I choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice. OK, I choose to be in that energy. That's what I want. That's what I want for you. And that's what I want for myself. But at the end of the day, we all have our choice for how our reality is right And how and what we want to see. Um, this world card, you know, think of think of being whole again wholeness, happy endings, abundance, success. This is new levels of consciousness. And for some, it's literally traveling traveling the globe, or maybe your product, your business, your idea is going to be worldwide. All right. So this is about, um, it's, it's just, it's a big, huge congratulations for, for being that star. All right. And all the challenges you've gone through as well. Let's get a little more information on this reading. I do want to thank my members now. If, um, so let's see here. If I don't say your name the way you want it to be said, just please leave a comment and let me know. But I do want to thank my members, Matt McElroy, thank you for joining, uh, Mystic Cougar, Sandy F, Tam, and Nancy T, as well as Collective Tarot. And if you're looking for um, other readings from another small channel um, who offers great readings, especially in the love department, uh, which I don't offer that here. So if you've been looking for that, I strongly recommend Collective Tarot, Collective underscore tarot so it's at collective underscore tarot and um you know we've we've just connected our readings seem to sometimes resonate and it's really cool so we've been chatting about it in our comments here of each other's videos so uh, we don't personally know each other but um <clears throat> let's see what else we have here serendipity oh my you have serendipity twice now <clears throat> yeah the waxing crescent that new beginning fate and, it, and fate you know it has to do too with like what how you want it to how do you want things to go the stars are aligned as everything comes together in perfect timing the signs you're receiving are accurate in telling you to move forward so expect positive and fortuitous outcomes with relationships and careers again 
what what we put out we get back so what we put out we bring about so i used to always tell students that too you know years before i did tarot because i noticed that you know what we put, and that's just a real life you know observation what we bring about what we think about i mean what we think about we bring about what you put out you get out of it right so it's just so basic but at the same time it's like something that we really need to learn and be in that energy in order to attract more of what we want you know and you know it's not to say we're not going to have to put in hard work of course we are let's get an animal card here I feel like we've covered some basic messages as well let's see let's get a this one is divine nature healing oracle this one was the key um the key elements oracle deck oh we have two here looks like we have a lynx here it's safe to move beyond fear stop procrastinating listen to your inner knowing and take action i boldly step into my destiny wow look at that that is exactly what we were just talking about you being that change <clears throat> there it is and that's card 32 and card 34. this reminds me of an owl but it's actually a cat or it looks like it could actually be a little lion cub, but it's still a cat. 34, so seek the companionship of loving others. You're cherished more than you know. This is you, <clears throat> I'm surrounded by love. So you could write, sorry about the noise, my crystals fell. They're holding my decks down in the wind. But this is um, an affirmation that you could write in the comments if you want to give it a little more oomph. You know, if you want to put an exclamation point at the end of this affirmation and you want it to be seen in front of an audience of thousands of people, which we often don't get. So that gives it even more energy. So I boldly step into my destiny. All right. Boldly step into my destiny. And then, which is what this whole reading is all about, I feel. And then you could also, or just choose this one, whatever. Um, I'm surrounded by love. I am surrounded by love. Another thing that I just say, which I feel really happened, like as good as like, I matter. I love that. Just you matter. You matter. That's my whole point doing these readings to let you know you matter. All right. You are, you are uh, worthy of all the blessings and there is enough, there are enough blessings to go around. So why not you? All right. Um, let's, let's help each other reach our goals and our dreams so everyone can benefit and let me see what else if there oh i always like to get number cards as well again if you enjoy this reading please feel free to like share subscribe comment join a membership or give a super thanks all of it is appreciated never expected but always appreciated what else do we have 33 sign of abundant blessings here okay so your angels are bringing peace love and illumination for you okay Peace, love, and, and illumination here. All right, it's 33. Let's get one more just because, because we can. <laughs> All right. So if this message found you, I, I, you know, my intention again is always that the messages find the people when they need to be found, that they're, that they're, that they're helpful in some way, healing in some way, and that they're received well, and that I deliver them with compassion. So if this is your message, I'm so glad you found it. Card 55, positive change. Again, stepping into your de destiny boldly. So things are shifting into a positive light. Please keep that in mind as things feel a little shaky in the next few months or however long. We may really start seeing the beginning of that in this, in this Virgo season. And again, happy birthday to Virgos. And if you enjoy this type of reading, please, please leave me a comment and let me know so that maybe I could do... Um, you know what, like a, like a happy birthday, Virgo, happy birthday, Libra, happy birthday, Sagittarius, etc. cetera, um, in the, you know, each uh, new season, okay? So maybe I'll do a season readings for each new zodiac sign. But you got to let me know, because otherwise I don't know, all right? <laughs> well, I'll know sometimes during meditation. But anyway, that's a different story. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo, Libra, and the collective. I appreciate you and wishing you many blessings.